Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, semicircle with center O along with this uh, code uh, BC as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, we got this uh, perpendicular DE that intersects this code at this point uh, F such that uh, this segment uh, BF is uh, 6 uh, units whereas uh, this uh, segment uh, CF is 8 and furthermore uh, this uh, segment uh, df uh, is equal to this segment uh, ef and now our task is uh, to find the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale and here's our action plan since we are interested in calculating the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle and we can see that this uh, OB is the radius uh, of uh, this uh, semicircle and moreover we can see that this OB length uh, is equal to the sum of these two individual lengths uh, OE and this uh, EB as you can see in this uh, equation so therefore now our task is uh, to find the length uh, OE and this uh, length uh, EB as well and now let's go ahead and think uh, outside the box so therefore we are going to consider the whole uh, circle and here in this uh, next step I have extended uh, this uh, line uh, DE all the way to point uh, P such that uh, we get this whole uh, code uh, DP and now let's recall the intersecting chords theorem. According to this theorem, if two chords intersect in a circle, then the product of the majors of the segments of the chords are equal. As you can see in this diagram, where these two chords AC and BD intersect each other. And as a result, we get the segments A, B, C and D such that uh, a times b equal to c times d and now let's focus on our uh, own problem we got these uh, two chords uh, b c and uh, d p that intersect each other at this uh, point uh, f and now let's make an observation we can see that these two segment uh, d f uh, and e f uh, are equal let me call this segment as uh, x and this segment is going to be x uh, as well then this uh, whole uh, segment uh, d e is going to be x plus x is going to make it uh, 2 times x and now we can see by symmetry if this uh, segment is uh, 2x then uh, this segment is going to be 2x uh, as well so therefore uh, this uh, whole uh, segment uh, fp is going to be x plus 2x is going to make uh, 3 x and now let's assume that this uh, segment is uh, our uh, lowercase a this segment is uh, our lowercase b this segment is uh, lowercase c and this uh, whole uh, segment uh, fp is uh, lowercase uh, d so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, intersecting chords uh, formula a in our case is uh, 8 b is 6 uh, equal to c in our case is x times d is 3 times x so let's go ahead and simplify that is going to give us 48 equal to 3 x square let's divide both sides by 3 so therefore our x square value turns out to be 16 let's undo this square by taking a square root on both sides so therefore our x value is going to be positive 4 so therefore we conclude that this uh, x value turns out to be positive 4 and this uh, x value is positive 4 units as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BEF and we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as our side uh, c I'm gonna call this side uh, lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula a square plus b in our case is a 4 so become 4 square 
c is 6 so this this is going to become 6 square now let's go ahead and simplify let's go ahead and subtract 16 from both sides this is gone so therefore a square turns out to be 20 let's undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both the sides so therefore we can write a equals to and now let's uh, focus on this uh, right hand side square root of 20 and here I have copied it down and if we simplify this thing this turns out to be 2 times the uh, square root of 5 so therefore I'm going to replace this uh, square root of 20 by 2 times square root of uh, 5 so therefore our a value turns out to be 2 times the uh, square root of 5 uh, units so thus our this a value I'm going to replace it uh, by 2 times uh, square root of uh, 5 and here's our next step let's go ahead and connect uh, this uh, center O with this uh, point uh, D as you can see over here and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, OED and we can see that this uh, length uh, DE is going to be 4 plus 4 is going to make uh, 8 units let me call uh, this uh, side length uh, as uh, lowercase uh, b and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, od is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle and uh, this uh, ob is the radius uh, of the very same semicircle as well and this uh, ob is going to be simply b plus uh, 2 times uh, square root 5 then uh, this OD length is going to be B plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 5 as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OED. And we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. A square plus B square equal to C square. This our longest leg uh, is going to be our side C. This is our uh, length uh, B and this side uh, 8. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. A in our case is 8. So this becomes 8 square plus B square equal to C in our case is B plus 2 times square root of 5 whole square. So let's go ahead and simplify. That's going to give us 64 plus B square equals to and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on the right hand side so therefore uh, our this uh, right hand side is going to become uh, b square plus uh, 4 times uh, square root of 5 uh, times b plus uh, 20 and now we can see that this uh, b square and b square is gone and now let's subtract uh, 20 from uh, both uh, sides and here this is uh, gone so therefore we ended up with the uh, 4 times uh, square root of 5 times b equals to 44 let's divide both sides by 4 times square root of 5 this is uh, gone so therefore uh, our uh, b value turns out to be if we reduce this thing that's going to give us uh, 11 divided by square root of uh, 5 so our b value turns out to be 11 divided by square root of uh, 5 so now we are going to rationalize uh, this uh, denominator since we have a radical at the denominator so therefore we are going to multiply and divide by square root of uh, 5 and now at the denominator square root of 5 times square root of 5 is simply 5 so therefore our b value turns out to be 11 times the square root of 5 divided by 5 so therefore our this b value turns out to be 11 times the square root of 5 divided by 5 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the radius now so the radius is going to be this one ob that is going to be the sum of uh, these two individual uh, lengths so therefore I can write uh, that our radius uh, is going to be equal to 11 times the square root of 5 divided by 5 plus uh, 2 times the square root of 5 and now in this uh, next step I can write this uh, 2 times square root of 5 uh, as uh, 10 times square root of 5 divided by 5 to make sure we have the same uh, 
common denominator. And if we simplify everything, uh, our radius uh, turns out to be 21 times uh, square root of 5 uh, divided by 5 units. So thus here is our uh, radius of this uh, semicircle and that is going to be approximately equal to 9.39 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.